it's the sinners who will get saved. Not the self-righteous. Not those that think that they are righteous. It says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 Jesus says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And it says in Romans 10.3, it says, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. And it says in Romans 3.25, whom God had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness through the remission for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God to declare, I say at this time, his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. So, it really is that type of thing. The gospel is for everybody. So there's a lot of people who will miss that because they don't understand that. They think that um, that since they came to Jesus, supposedly, and that they started reading the Bible, now they're righteous. You know, there's millions of people who will, will fall into this trap of the false gospel of the of self-righteousness. Um, and, um, you know, it's a very dangerous trap. And what's the problem with that is too is because they're presenting the Christian religion and they make it seem like it's this select few people who are living righteously even though that's literally impossible nobody has ever done it nobody ever will um, and even if you did you still have sinned in the past and thinking that you living better is is part of what saves you and then you believe in Jesus you just tack Jesus onto your own righteousness basically if you think that, then yeah, you're, you're definitely not saved, you know, it's like that. Um, and that's the popular mindset, you know, because people want to think that, look, I'm moving in the right direction, like, uh, look, look, look how, how I'm doing better, I'm doing good. And, and there's nothing wrong with doing better, but it does say in the Psalms, it says, I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. So... It's, it's, again, it's not our righteousness um, that's important. It's more about God and how merciful He is. It says, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us. By the washing and renewing and regeneration of the Holy Ghost. Titus 3.5. So I just want to talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm in a nice little area here. Look at this. I'm at City Hall Park. Wow, beautiful. Kind of inspiring, I must say. So, you know, the gospel is for everybody. You know, Jesus did the full work, so therefore there is not this confusion of, oh, but you have to do this, that, and the other. So there's a difference between instruction of what God wants us to do and the gospel not being of ourselves because it does say for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast so you know it's, it's just it's really important to understand these specific things you know uh, because it'll mean the difference between heaven and hell Alright, have a good night. God bless.